What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Real Talk episode here with Cassandra. Cassandra Lagashi. Ah! Oh, what weird. a <laughs> What's clapping? Hey, it's oh. what happens when you're in quarantine. You can't do much about it. How are you, Cass? What's up? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm Wait, good. Does it, does the audience I'm good. So crisp. <laughs> no, seriously. So like, how are you? Like, like, how are you in general? Like, um, you know, ask just to all my friends. But like, it's quarantine. Everyone's going crazy. Everyone's going like, like they're hallucinating. Everyone doesn't know what to do. But how are you? That was me mid quarantine. Like at first I was like, uh oh, this is nothing, it's fine. Uh -huh. And then mid quarantine I was like, oh, I wanna leave. I wanna Why get though? out of here. Like because I love making La Quacha. Not La Quacha, like La Quacha. I love making La Quacha. No, <laughs> uh, no, no, like, I love, no like Look, I love going to the gym. I love oh, going yeah. to work. I love going here and there. I love being. You love being stuff. active. I'm sorry, sir. Your words are better than mine. Oh. No, 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 no. I was just saying, like, that's what you're trying to say. Like, you're just like, but yeah, like active. doing stuff. But like, yeah. what made you not crazy? I mean, we're still in quarantine for like the longest time. Honestly, I think it's the long, work. longest lockdown out of all the countries in the world. I know, right? I think, honestly, like, work and school. Like, I'm just happy that I have more time. Like, something is taking up so much of my time. Which and is like, work and school. I mean, I don't, like, I need to move to, like, Panaba. Oh my gosh. English. Spoken in ba wow wow. Like, I need to move for me to, like, get my attention focused on that thingy majiggy. Yeah, you know, even so, sometimes me, like, I, I even thought... I have some sort of like ADHD or something like that ever since like you know that feeling where it's just like man or like when you're when like we have to do like <laughs> get our hair done or makeup for for a show like you're literally what? sitting there you're just like can I can I can I stand up can I leave can I, <laughs> can, I can I go can I go <laughs> can, like can this is <laughs> that's that's me mood how's your so your mental health is happy now you're happy now yeah, I can finally say that because, oh my gosh, this quarantine was terrible. I'm not joking. Like, at the start of the year, I was so happy. I was like, whoo, yeah, 2020 yeah. is... I saw that yeah. in you. I saw that in you. Oh, yeah, because, you know, uh -huh, guys, we, we hung out a lot. together. <laughs> yeah. Coach Flex! And then... Oh, Coach Flex! Oh, you, you can't see my muscles, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well... But yeah. No, but oh, no. yeah. Um, okay. yeah. Cassie used to be. A, I don't know. You know. I'm saying used to, but like she's she's that happy girl. I I mean okay, I haven't okay. seen you in forever, so you know I wouldn't know. But Cassie was always that happy girl in our group. Um, you never really see Cassie sad. You never really saw her emotional. Besides this, this one thing that like keeps her like emotional all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You know. I'm, not, I'm not gonna bring that up. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bring that up to everyone. That's that's your that's your privacy. But I want to know if you can share it to us, um, because we're talking about the mental health. Have you ever been in that position in life where like you're honest, just tired of everything and depressed or sad? Does it even have to be depressed? Just sad in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think this was, oh my gosh, I've had like, I've had bad seasons and mm. the first really bad one was when I was, when I was, when I was 14, that was like the worst of the worst, like one entire year was just whoosh, and then after that was actually <laughs> two years ago. Two years ago, I think. So it's yeah, kind of like it came why. back <laughs> or something. Like, was it the same? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I know why. I know mm -hmm. why. Okay, yeah. So yeah. actually, it's, it's probably like not just two years ago. It's been the past two years, more than two years ago. 
Okay, okay, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> no, like for real though, because like I really I believe in like the saying where you know when you hit rock bottom, the only way is up. That's yeah. so true. That it really is. is true. Look at me now. I'm kidding. <laughs> but for real though, I feel like I am living proof of like. I was at my worst of the worst in all aspects, and now like I'm not saying I'm like the best, but like. But you're just happy, and that's just, what keeps I'm you the best. I'm happier now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm at peace. Oh. Yeah. I'm at peace. Cause I ask my friends because I know, man, almost all of us have gone through depression at a certain time in our life. Yeah. Also, my friends have, and. They and uh, whenever I ask my friends, it's always different ways of them for them to get out of it. For you, what was like mm. a, a way for you to get out of it? Honestly, I just got, I just checked out my priorities in life. Like I think the reason why I was okay, I don't want to say depressed, but when I why I was so down, I think the reason why was because I prioritized. Something, something that wasn't supposed to be prioritized in the first place. And then when I changed everything, like I made everything balik tad. So basically now, like my work and my friends, my family, all of that just went first. Oh my gosh, life changing. And again, like what I said earlier, right? I need to move to get my attention somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the but in, in our work. You need everything, bro. You need everything. You need like your mind, your emotions, your like physical stuff, and like. So yeah, I'm just happy. My work requires a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, people don't know how mentally challenging the showbiz can be. Like, like obviously, a lot of people look at us like um we get it easy. We get life easy because oh, you're in the <laughs> industry. Everyone knows you. You're famous. But there's so much more to it that once you're in, once you're in the industry, you can only understand it once you're in the industry. And um, and it takes a really strong person, strong mindset, to do the stuff that we do and be surrounded by the people that we are surrounded by. Because, like I said, they're so we're literally surrounded by Rubbermaid. We're literally surrounded by plastic people, people who want to eat oh you gosh. up and throw you in the trash and all that stuff. It's so yeah. mentally challenging, and it takes some of the strongest people. And you know. I, I've only known Cassie since Darren's concert. Since when? Since when? Darren's concert. Huh? See, you keep forgetting. <laughs> that's a. F that's a. Not you want. Okay. Before we get deeper into this real talk, we're gonna bring that up again. You know, Cassie only found out this year that she met me at the time that we actually met. I really don't remember. When, when did you think did that I we met again? Uh, was it? Khalid's concert. No, no, I said Khalid's concert. No, you said ASAP. Wait, did I say ASAP? Oh no, sorry, I said ASAP. And then after a long time, we met again in Khalid's concert. Yeah. And you're like, no, we met in that concert. I was like, huh? What? Yeah. Mavi was the one who was like super happy to see me, even though I didn't, I didn't know both of you yet. I haven't met both of you, Mavi. I literally walk into the room. I say hi to Darren, and Mavi's just like, Kyle. <laughs> and then Cassie Kyle. was just like. <laughs> See, Cassie doesn't even remember this. That's the funny part. Cassie was like, after like a couple of years, it was like what three years ago, four, around like that. Yeah, yeah so what the girl Wait, what's that like? What's that around there when Darren had that concert? Yeah, around three years ago. And then Cassie was, I only told her this year. I was just like, dude, we met in Darren's concert. And then she was just like, no, we didn't. I swear we no. didn't. I, really, I didn't believe it until until I saw the picture. I was like, yeah, oh, I showed you the picture. Right. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I want to get back into um, so where we were earlier about showbiz and how it's hard. Um, I kind of wanted to bring this question up because for those who know Cassie, she was like, you were, can I say like raised in showbiz? We can say it like I was like the money. <laughs> yeah, you were, really right? Was. Right? Like, because your parents you know, are, your parents were always in the industry. So I wanted to ask, like, how, how was that for you growing up? You Just, know, I get this question a lot and I honestly don't know how to answer because I can't compare it. You know what I'm saying? Like, all my life, it was so normal for people to, like, 
take pictures of my parents or take pictures of us like eating when we're in the mall or like people saying, ah, oh, cute, cute mo. I'm like, huh? Who are you? <laughs> like, <that> was, <laughs> yeah, I'm legit. Like, that was so normal to me. Yeah, I'm so, a normal like, kid. What do you... What, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? No one does that to you at malls, you know? <laughs> Come on, guys. So, legit, like, that's really normal for me. That's why... I really can't compare it to like, oh, I was a normal person. Like, I really can't. I, I don't know. For me, this is normal. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. It, it, you were born into it, so you can't really do anything about it. Yeah. But, I was like, oh, my parents are artistas. Okay. <laughs> but my question for you now, because now that you're in the industry, have you ever like felt pressure because your parents were in the industry? Oof. Um, okay, pressure to join showbiz, no pressure at all. Yeah. Because I wanted to join ever since I was little pa. Like, legit, mm-hmm. I told my parents, I want to be an artista. And mom was like, no, no, you don't. No, you don't, sir. No, you don't. I was like, why? I want to be like you. I want to act. I want to cry. Ch-ch-ch-ch. She's like, <laughs> no, I want to cry. <laughs> I mean, like, because I always watch my parents on set and they're like, so, they, they look so cool. They're like, mo na ako and, they're like oh. and I'm like, wow, that's so cool. I want to do that. <laughs> Legit, I, I want to be emotionally hurt. <laughs> I want to cry. That's so G. That's cool. Pressure no, to join like, showbiz, none. None at all. Like, they just said it's up to you. If you want to join, join. If you don't want to, then don't. I was like, oh, okay. But, like, now that I'm in it, um, I felt pressure for a short period of time because some people would say, like, for example, because I'm about to have my first teleseria, right? So people are, people are like, oh, don't be nervous. It's in your genes. So I'm like, oh my uh, God. Like, so I'm supposed so you're, you're to be good. Like, about the like expectations of everyone. Yeah. Because your mom already yeah. was like that oh, veteran. Oh, mom's like, Carmina. Your dad is Zorin. I'm like, wait lang. Oh, damn. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm as good as them, but I, I don't know. I don't know. That was just for a short amount of time lang and then I just then you learn how to that. grow into it I don't know like I won't be able to work properly if I just keep thinking about the pressure so like I'll just do my mm-hmm. best and my best is not enough I'm sorry yo <laughs> I don't know I mean, nah. just trying baka it's meant for me baka it's not <clears throat> would you would you say that's that's like your biggest challenge in the industry is like living up to the expectations or you don't really care about their expectations you just want to do you um i think it's breaking the norm of ah anak ng artista kaya siya nandito like yeah. i'm not here because mm. i have talent i'm just here because my name so i'm like ah, she has it all easy but ah, no <laughs> no i don't guys i'm treated <laughs> equally i have to audition and stuff like that so Wag mo siyang judgmental. Nagalit, nagalit, wala pa, wala pa siya na binagalit. Okay, so if this is not your biggest challenge, what, what, what would, what do you think is your biggest challenge in the industry? In the industry, okay, I have two. <laughs> One, like in terms of like the job itself, the language. Mm. You know, I wanna, yeah, I wanna be going to Tagalog. Because you grew up English speaking. Yeah, but we're in the Philippines, so people might Kailangan be like, talaga. "Ah, di siya magiging Tagalog." I'm like, "Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning." That's my first problem, but that's that's easy to fix, though. Like, that's something you can learn. The other problem I can't control. It's actually I think we talked about this before, like fake people, plastic people, and stuff. I'm very like. If I meet a person, I love them already. <laughs> like I that's want the thing. To okay, that's them. one thing about Cassie that everyone needs to know. She's one really? of the most loving people, and she trusts way too fast. Sometimes she oh, trusts oh, me oh, way oh, too oh. fast. <laughs> Cass, you know this. You know this though, because sometimes you need. To, I'm gonna be honest with Cassie because I love her. Man, sometimes she needs to learn how to guard her heart at times because, like, she she jumps into a friendship way too fast sometimes. But one thing, one thing I really admire about Cassie when it comes to friendships, 
is that she doesn't lose her friends that she has in school. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't. Cons. <laughs> she doesn't look. <laughs> she doesn't look down to her friends because oh, I have this many followers or this like that. She's she's. You see her with her friends, and it's always like those people that are not in the industry, and she knows how to keep her circle, which I admire. Which I admire. Aww. But uh, for me, because like, <laughs> Cass, for me to be honest, I, I, I want to say grew up in the industry. I was like 11 years old when I went into the industry, right? And I didn't grow up because like my parents were never in the industry, but I was young. And for me, I had, I was, I, I trust fast, even up till now. I. <laughs> Yeah, you do, Kyle. Yeah, I do. You do. I do. Let's just be honest. <laughs> um, <laughs> I trust way too fast. That's my problem. Also, but um, one thing that I wish I was able to do better was keep my friends that were outside of the industry. And how was that for you? I like yeah. this. Okay. I don't know. Maybe because like. Oh, I know. I don't know because I feel like they never. I mean, they always make fun of us. Like, oh, you see ice cream, see ice cream. Like, yeah, that's so normal. <laughs> but like, they knew what was ice joke. cream, Get ice cream. Joke. Like, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> no, but like, I don't know because I think they don't see us as like artista. But, like, uh-huh. oh, they're artista. Oh, bow down to them. Like, ah, oh, please don't bow down to me. No, please. <laughs> yeah. Like, treat me as an equal, you know. So I think that's why, like. That's why I really want to keep them in my life because I don't know. They don't see like they don't see me as an artista. Like, yeah, because you want to like, find those friends person. that like you're on the same level with, like you never see, you yeah. never could see as a competitor or anything like that. <laughs> Showbiz <laughs> joke. <laughs> yep. No, but like yep. okay, because if you think about it seriously, sometimes in in showbiz, like you don't know. Okay, if you come, okay, wait. I'm not saying this is for everyone. Oh my gosh. If I get cancelled. <laughs> okay, I, wait. There's a, cancel culture doesn't belong here. Okay. <laughs> it shouldn't. Okay. It shouldn't. So this is just my opinion. I could be wrong. I could be right. Mm-hmm. But usually, because in the showbiz world, there are a lot of people who use each other. Like, oh, this person's famous. So I'll be close to this person. And like, I, I, I hate that. Like, yeah. no. Yeah, it's so so why would I want to be friends with that? You're just using me for like I don't know followers or something, but that's that's not cool, bro. You have no heart. <laughs> well, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna make <laughs> friends with this guy so I can get that clout and then leave. Yeah, like no, stop clout chasing. Can you do something <laughs> with your talent and skill? I don't know. <laughs> have you have you have you have you experienced that? Yes. <laughs> oh my God. Do I know who? Um. No. 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 Um. <laughs> wait. Wait. Let. Let me. <laughs> Calculate everything before okay. it gets out. Let me. Of your just, mouth. <laughs> yeah. Let me. Just, yeah. Because I'm so triggered. Like I really. I do not like fake people, plastic people, or people who use each other. Like. Oh. Okay. I'm so triggered. Ah, okay. Anyway. Um, the people that used me before were they're not part of the showbiz world man. So I was like, okay, I, I understand. But like cause before they used to tell like my fan pages stuff about me. So Shampre, growing up, I'm like, oh my gosh, how did how did whoa, they know who my crush damn, in school was? Like, whoa, like oof. Yeah. Then I find out my best friend is like telling my like fan accounts, oh you know, like this and this and that. Or she posts it online. I'm like, why are you posting it? That's my secret or secret or something. I don't know, just eh, just stuff like that. So that to that about, best friend. So so she wasn't in the industry. She wasn't in the industry, but she just I don't know. I don't know why she was posting everything I said or like uh, I don't know, man. I need some privacy. <laughs> like, <laughs> not to tell everyone, you know? And that should about... be my, in my <laughs> Okay. Well, okay. So, how about industry-wise? Have you experienced that with anyone? 
But it doesn't have to be that Ooh. certain situation. Uh, it's just like, you know, Ooh. you know that this person's using you. Like, because for me, it's Ooh, happened yes. like tons of times. Oh my gosh. Yeah, oh nga, no? but the weird thing is that <laughs> till this day they're still your friend. Oh, you know me. They're still my friend. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I really <laughs> I love my friends whether like they do me wrong or something because I know that there's some good in their hearts. You you, for, you forgive too quick. You forgive too quick. That's what I meant to say earlier. You forgive too quick. <laughs> so, I don't what, what what happened here? Um uh, Okay. <clears throat> okay, here's the funny part. I think it's cuz usually I'm not Oh my god, how do I say this? Okay, I'm going to try to paint a picture for you. So, let's say we're in an event right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then i walk in and stuff they're like let's say i'm one of the influencers like okay it's passy blah 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 and i don't i don't care if i'm not noticed like i'm just there for the event itself mm -hmm. so that's cool right it's chill and then eventually people will start to notice oh si Cassie de Gassi, blah, blah blah and then i don't know i'll be noticed for some reason and then these people in the industry will Oh yeah, she's my friend. Like, oh, whoa! I didn't even see you like this whole time. Why are you suddenly close to me? Like, huh? It's so weird. That's why I feel so used. Like, just because people are talking to me or talking about me, wanna like, ah, ah, ah. She's my best day lover. <laughs> yeah, but then me, man, I'm so dumb and I'm so gullible. I'm like, oh yeah, you're my friend. Um. I kind of want to go back to what we said earlier with what um, your mom, like your mom and dad being in the industry, you grew up saying that you want to be in the industry. But uh, have you ever had like a, a goal to venture out of showbiz? Like if you weren't an artista, you wouldn't want to be something else. Like what would it be? I'm very indecisive. Like very, I it's hard for me to stick to one. Ah, except for relationships and love life, very loyal. Pool. She's the opposite. <laughs> She's a bit <laughs> too loyal, is what the word is. Oh, oh yeah. She's loyal yeah. to people that twist her wrong. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? All oh, right. So I'm very <laughs> indecisive. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, my brain. Okay, I need to focus. So I'm very indecisive, right? So like, I wanted to be a lot of things. So first, um, a fashion designer, and then I wanted to be a nutritionist, and then I wanted to be a psychologist, and then I wanted to be a nurse, and then I wanted to be a doctor, and then I wanted to open my own clinic, and then be a pediatrician, and then... Oh, then I wanted to be a singer, a singer, and then... Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I was gonna ask, but yeah, keep going. No! Okay, what else? Oh, then, I don't know, businesswoman. Right, Cassidy? Right? Yeah, yeah. I I kept hopping around. I'm not joking, like, I didn't know. So I was just doing everything. I wanna be a fashion designer. Look at my sketches. And like, oh, just kidding. I'm learning about carbohydrates and proteins. And I wanna be a fashion designer. It was everywhere. Legit. That's why, like, now I'm surprised. Still stuck in showbiz. I'm loyal. No, oh, but you know what? No matter how like everywhere you are, I'm happy for you and Matthew that you guys are still like really good with your school. You guys are. Oh. What? <laughs> no, but I mean, like, out of all the artistas I know, you didn't like take a, you didn't take like um an exam to boost you like past grades or stuff like that. You really went to school too while you were in yeah. the industry you would go to school even if you had like late taping and then like you'd yeah. go to school the next day and stuff like that that's actually that takes a lot that takes a lot and how did you and Mavi do honestly that? i think i think what we oh my gosh i I'll think it also lang, shaped you guys i think it also shaped you guys like discipline wise mm -hmm. 
Okay, what are they saying? All oh, right. Okay, personally, I think that Mavi and I didn't work work. Like, like I'm very thankful. Like I you weren't like a hundred percent in showbiz yet. Yeah. There, sorry, that's better. Yeah, we weren't a hundred percent. So I feel like when people say, "Oh, you must be so tired," like, no, because I have friends in the showbiz industry. Oh well, like you guys and stuff. And I'm like, hindi nakte taping sila, nakpupuya. And I see like Kyle always like, oh, like. He really did like after taping, like he's really tired, and then he has his music, and then he has like guesting. So I'm like, yeah, but okay, I don't want to compare, naman. But I'm going to compare. <laughs> like the workload is very different. So for people to be like to say, oh, kawawa kayo, or I'm so amazed with what you're with what you're doing. I'm like, no, you should see my friends though. Like they do more. <laughs> like legit, no, like but... for me, what what we did before is nothing. Thing. Yeah, but like you're busy <laughs> like, now. Like you're busy now, and you're still doing school. Oh, now I'm, I'm about to, like, yeah. I feel it. Yeah, yeah. I feel you, it. You know I'm gonna I mean? be like you're... dead tired. You're... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just giving up. I'm on my last straw. <laughs> I'm gonna be locked in soon. So. Oh. Uh, I'm kidding. Good luck. Yeah. I'm doing the same. I'm gonna be alone. Yeah, same. Then alone. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, even though I'm a minor. <laughs> oh, oh wait, yeah. Well, no, I have um, a I have a, I don't know, man. I have uh, someone going with me, like my my RM, but like, uh, oh. I'm not bringing my mom because like I don't want her to be exposed to COVID, so I'm just letting that happen. Oh, oh sweet boy! Wow. So, you and Mavi. As siblings. Oh. Uh oh. What's this? Whoa. Whoa. Damn, what is this about? No, you guys are twins. For those who don't do not know, they're 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 twins. Um We are? Oh my gosh, I didn't know. I didn't know that. It's not yes. obvious. No, but how Obviously. how is how is that? How is growing with a twin? Growing up with a twin. Because See, I'm not no I mean like for me, I, I, you guys, whenever I'm with you guys, you guys are like tight. You guys are so close. Like, you guys are like that kind of <laughs> siblings that like a lot of people, a lot of siblings aspire to be because a lot of people have sibling rivalry and they're not even twins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, I know a lot of twins that like they have rivalry because they want to be the better twin. But I never see that with I'm you and Maddie. Better. Okay. <laughs> I'm the better twin. I'm the better twin. Like, how are you guys? How 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 have you guys built that relationship that you guys have? I think because growing up, they never compared us. And actually, I mean, come on. First of all, boy girl, we have different yeah. experiences, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. physically, we're opposite. Like, I'm not joking. Like, curly hair, straight hair, and before I used to be like tan, like my dad, and then my brother's like super white, like paper white. So like. Yeah. From there, palang we're so different, and then the things we liked were so different. So my parents are like, "Ay, yeah, dog, they're not gonna be like twins, twins." So I was uh -huh. like, I was surprised that we're even close. Like, how are we close? <laughs> like, really, we're so. Because you guys have like I'm such different joking. like likings and stuff. Yeah, like we're so different, but then we're so close. So. Yeah, I'm. I don't want to figure that out because I'm happy that we're close. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> like, a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, like I'm okay. Like I don't know. And then the competition stuff again. Like what I said, we're so lucky because we're already so different. So my mm -hmm. path is different from his. So for example, oh, they're like my teleserie, right? I was the first one to have a teleserie. You'd expect the sibling to be like. Ugh. What about me? Like, I don't have projects. But no, my brother, I'm not joking. He's my number one fan. Like, he's yeah, so supportive. I, I see that in him. I see that in him. Like, even like when it comes to love teams. Even when it comes to love teams oh. that you're, like, paired with a guy. Or, like, even Darren. I don't know why he's so... <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, like, the biggest Cashman <laughs> fan. Like, why? <laughs> he's the number one Cashman fan. He's the number one Cashman fan. <laughs> That's the funny part. I was like, oh, no. Oh. Like, you're okay. supposed to be, like, overprotective, Mavi. <laughs> yeah. But, but he's not. He's just all for it. So I'm like, oh. He's like, all for it. Just like, go, okay. go, like, make a love team with Darren. Like, why don't you get into the love team? He's literally <laughs> the pusher out of everyone in the Philippines. 
Oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's supportive. So thanks, ma. Thanks. <laughs> what do you can you can you give any tips for like kids out there with sibling rivalry? First of all, why? Wow, gale. Oh. <laughs> why? No, seriously. For real though, why? Why would you want to have sibling rivalry? Like, shouldn't you? Is it a default that you should want the best for your family? For your family and your sibling. For your family, like for your sibling or something like that. Like, let's say you didn't get something. I understand if you feel bad for yourself, but you don't. It doesn't mean you have to compete with your sibling, and it doesn't mean you have to fork at siblings. Kayo dapat pare pareho kayo or something like that. Like, everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses. So. Mm-hmm. Love yourself. I don't know. I've, I've, I don't know. I've never felt competition with him. Eh, so I don't really know how to... No, that, that's a really good thing. That's a really good thing. That's a really, really it's good thing. It's not in my blood. Wow. It's not, <laughs> not in my blood, guys. I really no, don't I just, know. I like... just love how close you guys are as siblings. You guys literally do almost everything together. I'm surprised. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, you guys, whenever I talk to you guys... You guys are always on the same wavelength, but when whenever we talk, it's just like, yo, these guys are actually really different. <laughs> the way Mavi talks talk to about, us separately and somebody, yeah, it's different, yeah. right? Yeah, because when I talk to you guys separately, it's just like, oh, these guys are like best friends. And then when you and I talk to you guys at the same time, it's just like, man, these guys are literally the same person. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Man, but I love the Legaspi uh, siblings. You know, you guys were always, you guys were always close with me. I don't know how we became close. I, I met you guys not because of Darren, and like we've always had that little group of ours. We Thanks, became Dad. closer at the Khalid concert, I believe. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was an experience. <laughs> that was an experience. That was fun. Yes, yes, yes. that was fun. <laughs> yes, Cassie. <laughs> yes, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm down to my last two questions for you. If that's okay with you. Last two questions. Um, this is, I actually ask everyone on my, on my show. Um, first question is, um, where do you see yourself five years from now? You don't really have to like see yourself there, but like, what do you want? Where do you want to see yourself five years from now? Oh, five years from now. <clears throat> five years from now. I want. Oh my gosh, it's. Okay, it's kind of boring. Like it seems so technical, but <laughs> I want to be financially stable. <laughs> like I want <laughs> legit. Like. Okay, I mean, I who mean, doesn't? Like, Come on, and who doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, I want to be balling. Like, I want to be, like, I want to be able to provide for myself and my family by that time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be think, balling. Like, do you think your mom and dad are going to retire in the next five years? No. No. My... Oh. Okay, my dad, maybe. I can see it, but... I don't know. My mom, nah, dude. She loves her work too much. I, I feel like she's just gonna be her job. So she's like, uh, like for real. I feel like she's not gonna quit. Like, what is ever. That? she's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> like Lola, like <laughs> with a, with a chain. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> God. She's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. oh my gosh. So you, but you see yourself providing for your family in five. How old are you? Five years? Twenty-four. You're 24, still Twenty-four. Twenty-five. You see, you see, you're nineteen but now. Like, you're but only I wanna just balling. Balling. I wanna be. Yeah, <laughs> I can't find the perfect word, but I wanna be balling. You wanna Single? be financially Single? comfortable. No, I want to be balling. 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 Yeah. yeah. Balling. Yeah. So I can, Cardi B status. I can, I can provide for my buong barangay. Oh, that, that Kanye though. <laughs> I can provide for my buong barangay. 
<laughs> I'm working on my Tagalog. Guys, please. I swear, I'm better than this. <laughs> May nagsasamahan niya kasi yung English tsaka Tagalog. Kaya pagbigyan mo na. Kanyo! <laughs> Kanyo! Kanyo! Okay, so five years from now, you want to be balling. Where do you see yourself ten years from now? Mm, married. Aww! Yeah. Okay, maybe like... Maybe, maybe... Uh, no, no, no. Like, you see yourself... No, 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 here. You see yourself at 29 in a long-term relationship. Married. Oh, married, married. Or, see, engage. We can get married next time. Like, whoever my future guy is. Well, I'm 30. <laughs> maybe, like, uh, you're the, uh, future guy. <laughs> if you're watching this... <laughs> I'll glow up in 10 years, I promise. Please wait for me. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe engaged or... You see yourself with your own family already? Kids? No, no, no. Not yet, not yet. I need to have alone time with my babe. <laughs> wow! Blinano! Blinano! <laughs> Mavi enters the room. Darren Espanto, Darren Espanto. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mavi just comes in. Did I hear Darren? Darren, when do you want to get married? <laughs> your plans 10 years from now, just so we can, you know, align it. <laughs> Guys, I'm kidding, okay? Please. Okay. Whoa, don't, whoa, don't whoa, whoa. Me. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> okay. That's cute. You, are, you already see yourself getting married in 10 years. Aww. Why? What about Aww. you? Wait, I'm curious. What about you? Me? Oh, wait, you're younger than me. <laughs> I'm only 27, <laughs> man. I'm only maybe 27 in 10 years. So, so I see myself, you, you know, I see myself having a kid around that age. 27, 29. 27, 29, <gasps> 30. You know really? why? Because I even told my mom this. Because I don't want to grow up so old that when my kid is legal, when he's 21, he can do stuff. I'm like rusty. I don't. Want, I don't want that to happen. I don't want to be all that rusty. Depends on your stuff. personality, okay, and not the age. Yeah, I know, but like, I want to be, cause like, for me, my dad, really he evil. had me. He had me when I was 28, and like, my bucket list with him is to like travel the Philippines, travel the world, on a motorcycle, and I wouldn't be able to do that at 50. Uh, like I would be but Impossible. like I wouldn't enjoy it as much as I was at 40 you know so you know doing the math <laughs> he'd be at a good age if I was 28 and you know 20 years what how old am I then I'm 48 small numbers you know small numbers. so can I have the show back I'm or sorry, you have okay. another question? Here's your show I'm sorry I was just curious <laughs> maybe, maybe your your viewers are curious <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, last question. I asked this. I, I ask this to every single one of my um, guests. What is something that I should ask you, but I don't know enough to ask? That's such a good question. Right. Right. I got goosebumps. What the heck? Right, it's it's like a real, yeah. It's 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 oh, really it's very complex. Okay. It really makes you think. What is the question? Like, for some me. people, it's times where, like, there's this one thing that was said about this one person, and they really really want to answer it, but they were never asked themselves, to themselves about that question, or it could be like something that you know about in life that you wish you could share but no one asked you about it so you wouldn't have the opportunity to share it okay this is I think it sounds super cliche but this means a lot to me I think the question maybe who really is Cassie Legaspi like who is she out of the family like who like as an individual, who is she? Who is she? Who is, no, no, no. Who is Cassie? Who is Cassie? Who is Cassie? Who is she on her own? And yes. you wanna you wanna answer that? 
Well, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a whole paragraph ready. <laughs> Here, sir. I'm kidding. It's my script. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> because I feel like there's this cookie cut image of me. And if I do something a little bit out of it, that's actually me. People will react like, "Oh my gosh, who is she? Why is she doing that? Oh, rebel them!" Like, what? But that, what do you mean? That's me. And I think because people have this image of me as when I was a kid, and like they still, like they still think that's me. Guys, I'm 19. I'm 19. I'm not nine. <laughs> like, oh gosh. So. I don't know. I guess when I, oof, like when I, I'm a very deep person. I like talking about life. I like talking about. I'm, I really hate shallow discussions. That's why. That's why I love this. I love this show in your channel. Can I just say? <laughs> like you. I really love this. And this is my dream. This is my dream to do to this. Like have I want a, to like, start like talk show kind like of thing. Life. Yeah, like about life and stuff because mm -hmm. I want people to Same. know that. I'm not the perfect daughter, always happy. Like I have, I have opinions about a lot of things, and I do believe I am intelligent. But people think otherwise. Like they just think I know about. No, guys, there's more to me than <laughs> just. You know, <laughs> she has a mind. You know, <laughs> I have a mind of my own. I can speak for myself. That's why I think when I had my own Instagram, and then I think during this quarantine or something, I've been posting a lot more, like maybe more out of the cookie cut, like image of Cassie. People were like, "Whoa, she's deep!" Or like in my YouTube channel when I talked mm -hmm. about just a little bit about life, they're like, oh, "I'm shook," and I was like, "Yo, yeah, I've been I like think... this since I was like 10." <laughs> so, yeah, I think because it, it, it leads back to. What I said earlier, and how you were raised in the industry and raised around your parents, who were always a celebrity, so everyone thought, "Man, this kid has yeah. to be perfect." That's what people don't understand. I can't stress this enough. Artistas are human. Artists are human. We're all human. And one day, it's inevitable. We are all gonna mess up one day. We are all gonna have our own opinions one day, and that's what people need to start understanding: is that we're not gonna be the Perfect painted picture that you guys want us to be because we're not trying so to triggered. follow. <laughs> we're not trying to follow mm -hmm. a certain a certain graph of how people want their artistas to be because we're human and we are just as human as you are. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> wait, can I add? Because wait, I'm so giggle. Can I just add go, something? Go lang, go lang. Okay, so. <laughs> So giggle right now. Okay. <sighs> so you know, again, you're right, right? Artistas, celebrities, even here in Hollywood, everywhere, we're all human, right? And I think that word gets, or that phrase gets tossed around so much that people think it's a cliche, like ah, oh, everybody's human, but they don't understand it. Like they don't, they don't try to understand it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, paano ba to? Like. They think, oh, don't don't hate on that person because they're only human, blah blah, or like, I don't know, but they didn't, they don't really, okay, because imagine like anyone can be famous, like I can literally get someone here, make that person famous, and then once that person starts getting hated, whatever, they're gonna realize, oh shoot, he's human. Is, like I'm I'm human, but why why are you hating on me? And it's not only that, like celebrities. Or artists or whatever, they're always placed in the spotlight. So imagine if your mistakes and like you growing up and like trying things and doing different things is just in the spotlight and everyone's watching you. Like, can you imagine? Like, yeah. people can make mistakes in private and won't get judged, but for like celebrities and artists or whatever, they're like, "Oh my gosh, why did she do that? Why did he do that? Oh, napakaganito." The... Oh, I'm so triggered. <laughs> Please, nobody's perfect. And you know what? People should make mistakes, and they should learn from it. Yeah, because you're stop hating on these people. I want. I have a question for everyone watching this. You guys need to answer. Like, 
who do you know that hasn't made a mistake in their life? Who? Please comment down below. <laughs> Please comment down below because Please even the most below. smartest people have made big mistakes. Steve Jobs has made a mistake. J Jeff Bezos, the most rich person at the moment. Most rich people in the world. Like, come on. It's inevitable. Everyone has made a mistake. It's just that, it's just that since we're in the spotlight, since we're in the industry, people are thinking that you're in this position, you have to be perfect. And, and your mistakes are even more, your mistakes are even more enhanced because you're in the industry. Like put, put yourself in our shoes. Say this. Um, so what you, you have a million followers. You have a million followers and you make this, you make a mistake, <laughs> make one mistake. That's even more enhanced because you have that million people around you thinking about you and they, they're saying you're a bad role model because you made that one mistake. Well, I mean, you, we own up to it. That's the only thing we can do. We own up to the mistake that we made, but you can't Apologize judge that person. And do better next time. Exactly. You can't judge that person on that one mistake that they made. Just because they're in the industry. Like, put yourself in our shoes. The mistake that you made yesterday. All of you watching, if you made a mistake, imagine that being showed to the whole world. Like, it's... Oh my God, I don't your mistake. <laughs> I don't your mistake. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, all, that's literally all I have to say. Like, it's... it's so giggle. It's literally all I could say, really. Yeah. Anyways, I like that question. I like that question that you you brought up. That was a good one. Hey. Who is Cassie? Who is Cassie? Only I, I can answer that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's also another question. But we'll, just saying, uh, this guys. This might go too long. I uh, uh, might go too long. <laughs> People think, uh, no, 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 no. It's too long. It's too long. Um, <laughs> anyways, man, that was a really good real talk, man. I had fun on this one. This was a good one, Cass. Thank you. Glad I didn't cry. I was like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna cry later. I was like, ah. Oh. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> let that happen. I wouldn't let that happen. Uh, thank, thank you, Cass. It means a lot. Um, guys, for those who are watching, please subscribe to Cassie's YouTube channel that she just launched recently. So proud of her. She has her own YouTube channel now. Subscribe. When is your next video? Subscribe. We're doing a video, actually, me and Cassie, but we don't know what we're doing yet. Abangan yeah. lang. Abangan lang. We'll do a video I'll, very, I'll very, think very about soon. It. Yeah. Cassie will think about it. You, 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 know. you guys will see Kyle in my channel. Yeah. What should we do? No. I, I'll, I'll, I'll go that. to your place. <laughs> I'll go to your place and then hang out with Mabby. Not you. You can just vlog our experience. Hey <laughs> 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 guys, Mabby what you doing? Kyle. Later, Cass. <laughs> hey I'm guys, what you doing? Later, Cass. Stop it. <laughs> Stop talking to us, please. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, guys. Yeah. Thank you for joining today here on Real Talk with Cassie Gaspi. I really enjoyed that one. Hopefully, you guys did too. Cassie, anything you want to say? Last words? I'm so like, wow. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm okay. so like, wow. <laughs> Well, because like this is this is so fun. Right, right. It just feels so good fun. to talk like, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so happy. I'm like anyway. <laughs> I'm like I'm like a proud mom. I'm like oh, Kyle, anak. <laughs> Don't you dare say mom. What the heck? You want me to start calling you Ate now? Oh, no, please. Oh, that sounds no. so weird. No. no please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, but for real, thank you so much, Kyle. 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 I had so much fun. And I hope... Oh, to Kyle subscribers, don't forget to like and say that this is Kyle's best video. <laughs> I think this is probably Thanks. one of the best real talks. <laughs> what? No. It's up there. It's up there because, like, this was fun. Yeah. I, think I'm, I think I'm taking out the music for this one, too. Because like man, the the flow the flow was good. The flow was good on this one. The way we just kept on getting on nice. topics on topics. That was good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, um any last words for Darren? 
you know, he's he's probably watching this <laughs> one there. Yeah. Um. Hi. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dari knows I'm not like this in person. Um. We miss you, Big D. Big D. <laughs> <laughs> Misty Darren. <laughs> that was just for the fans that stayed this long in the talk. Anyways, peace, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. And bye bye. Baby, what you wish for?